what can you tell me about BeeWise? The idea is uh, it's, a, it's a device that houses hives and there's a robotic arm inside of it that automates most of the manual work that beekeepers would do, like moving frames, splitting hives, merging hives, feeding, harvesting, and it's all done by the robot. So you get to see this, uh, this little app. This is the actual frames of all your hives and you can see how much brood, pollen, and honey there is in each frame. You can actually dig into a specific hive and see all the frames. These are the pictures of this specific frame. So you can see the pictures and then this is our AI after it analyzed those pictures. So we know at the cell level, every what's in every single cell, whether it's eggs, open ca cab brood, open brood, everything, honey pollen. So they pull it, frame, yep. take a picture, yep. do the analysis, put it back. Yep. The robot does yep. how many hives total? Up to 40 hives. 40 hives. Yeah. Yeah. It's part of the box. No, these are the hives. There's no real hives anymore. It's just frames. It's like a bookshelf of frames. And what? And there's dividers. You see? So these are the the black ones are the dividers. So this is like a lot of frames. If you go into the box, you see this. Interesting. You actually see all these frames, and these are what define one colony from the other. Now this is a weak colony, for example, it's pretty weak. So you can grab a brood frame from here, the robot does it, and you can just shove it in here to strengthen this frame. You can see here, for example, this hive lost its queen. All right, so you can see that they have no queen. If you have a problem, then they all have a problem? Well, it depends which problem, right? Yeah. It's kind of like in a regular batch, right? They're pretty close together. They're batched on, on uh, you know, so yeah, it's, it's it's similar similar issues. The thing is, though, if you have a problem here, at real time, we can tell you know American Brood, we can tell Varroa, we can tell you what's going on, because it's a robot that takes a picture. You know, you don't have to send people to actually take out. So you know, today just to know what's going on at your yard, somebody has to get into a car, drive for a few hours, get dressed, apply smoke, and then they open the first hive to look at the first frame. Tomorrow. And you get to see this anytime you like. This is kind of readily available 24-7. You see your entire yard and you can make decisions. You can just make a much more informed decision and then you can apply it remotely without actually going to your yard. Now there's still things you'd always have to go, for example, to bring a new queen. We don't know how to do that yet automatically. And there's, I'm sure, cer certain things we'll figure out that we still don't automate. But the idea is to strive and take as many mundane, you know, labor-intensive tasks and let the robot do them. It's cool and at the same time it's scary yeah. to think it? about it. About Isn't it? How, where beekeeping is going. I, I have no problem with technology, but I know a lot of people see this as a... Uh, oh, they, they have... Are we, still, are we still on, on file? Yes, you want me to? No, but, but look, the idea is this, right? You know, one of our founders is a beekeeper. And what happens is he used to send people to the field and they do stuff. And then he'd go and check on them and figure out, oh, they did it all wrong. Because beekeeping is not something, you know, you learn in, 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 you know, by reading a book. A three-year-old beekeeper and a 30-year-old beekeeper, they have a totally different experience and expertise. So you want all your staff to be 30-year-old beekeepers, with, I mean, beekeepers with 30 years of experience, right? And, and so, so just streamlining the operation is important. So it's not that you use less beekeepers, it's, it's, it's the idea is that, that you take your experienced beekeepers and you apply them to grow your apiary, to bring in more hives, while the mundane task you can just do with this thing. So we charge ten dollars a month per hive. So, so we don't. We own the the device. The actual frames are yours. You just take your existing frames from your hive and push it in them. Push it in this. So you own you. I mean the beekeeper. They own their hives and their bees. But we provide the whole infrastructure, the service, the software, you know, the hardware, and we charge for it four hundred dollars a month for the actual device. And right now, we're actually working with some pilot partners who get it for free to try this out and for us to learn and improve the service. I'll be very interested on that in Florida to conduct research. Some of our partners are research facilities because you can see at real time what's going on. Yeah. The other thing we're trying to do now is we're trying to 
throw in more technology to identify the mites inside the cap brood. If you can identify the mites inside the cap brood, you can do wonderful things, right? Just imagine. Yeah. You don't need to do any treatment. You can just pop those those cells, and the bees will get rid of the mite. We're not mm -hmm. right now. We're not dealing with the mites in any way to, that applies pesticide. Mm -hmm. We're kind of against that philosophically. And that's why we're trying to find ways to mechanically get rid of the mites. If we can get that, for us, that would be kind of the golden. Uh, that would be golden. Even as a as a split machine, this is already have the value right there. Yeah. Look, splitting a hive. This is your hive. You take the divider and just move it in the middle and now you have two separate hives. Yep. It's, it takes the robot a minute to do and you split a hive. You want to split all 40, go ahead and split them. Do you have one of those machines here? We have, uh, we're bringing a couple here to California in March. This March, this upcoming March. Uh, we're, get, we're bringing a few to, to Canada. We have a waiting list for like the next couple of years for all these machines. Yeah, we can't produce them fast enough. Right now, we're still manufacturing them one by one in mm -hmm. a small workshop. At some point in the next couple of years, we'll start getting into mass production to really start producing them.